Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to this video to my Facebook family, uh, my Gobi family, if you're watching me live on Zoom, uh, my YouTube family. Uh, just had a few things on my mind this morning, so I wanted to make this little short video real quick. So, with that being said, today's subject that I want to touch on is um, people's opinion about you is none of your business. Like, when, you, uh, when you're in this type of industry, you know, direct sales, or when you're, you know, into Forex and you try to share this opportunity with some, time, with some people, people are going to give you their opinions. And just remember that, you know, unless they're on the same wavelength with you and they want to grow with you and they want to, you know, experience this and have some success with you, then their opinion is none of your business. Like, you really don't care. Like, once you've made your mind up that, hey, I believe in what I'm doing. I believe that Forex, for example, can eventually free me. I believe that if I gain a residual income, this can give me the type of income that can come into my household that can help me pay your bills. Just remember, I have a saying, your opinion don't pay my bills. So if I found a way to have success for myself, then I'm not gonna let somebody else's opinion tear down my dreams. Especially when you're dealing with people that you actually know, people that you've been knowing for years. Because a lot of times, they're not turning down the opportunity. They're not turning down the idea. What they're actually turning down is you. Like, it's crazy because people that you don't know will support you more than people you do know. Because a lot of times, the people that you know, they judge you by your past. Whereas um, people that you don't know can judge you by your progress or your potential. They see what they see. They see you for what you are now. Whereas people from your past will see you from what you've done in your past. So if you got into some trouble or used to be into things, just because they haven't changed, they don't believe that you can change. But at some point, we all grow. We all go through our uh, metamorphosis stage, right? At least most of us do. I know I have, you know what I'm saying? Like I have an old saying for myself that the person like, my life has been in different stages. And the person that I was before 32 and the person that I was after 32 is two totally different people. I'm so glad I didn't get married in my 20s because if I did, uh, by the time I turned 32, 33, 34, whoever married the person that was 32, probably, I mean, the, the person before 32 probably wouldn't like this new person because this person is more motivated, more positive. I'm not uh, into a lot of stuff that I was uh, in my 20s. So we do evolve. And if you've evolved, don't let somebody tell you or let somebody hold your past against you. Sometimes the people that you hang around are the people that's bringing you down. Like they're literally hanging on and it's hurting you and you don't even know it. Like when you really think about it, people that do nothing want you to do nothing with them. Like you're trying to go this way. But they're constantly trying to pull you that way. You see what I'm saying? So you have to really pay attention to your circle because you don't want your circle to hurt you. I had a group of friends that I literally hung out with from the time I was 12 all the way till I was 32. That was a 20 year friendship, right? And I eventually had to let those friendships go because what I had realized was that the same things that we was doing at 18, 19, 20, 25, 30, at 32, we still doing the same things. And these people did not want to grow. So at some point, I didn't really start having success until I got rid of their baggage, like the hanger-ons, because I had to free up their time. If your friends like to sit around and play the video game all day, for example, right? Well, if you're hanging out with them, then what are you doing? Like, think about it. If you're hanging out with people that's doing nothing, then you're probably going to be doing nothing with them. But if you're hanging out with people that's trying to be successful, that's trying to go for their goals, then guess what? By default, if you're going to hang out with that crowd, you're going to end up having success by default. So definitely start picking your friends wisely. That's what I try to teach my son at a young age. I ain't saying just fire your friends all of a sudden, but what I'm saying is you do need to pay attention to what these relationships are doing to you because this relationship could literally be holding you back only because it's taking up too much of your time so i just want you to remember this your life is a movie you are the director you you get to decide who are the actors in your movie you get to decide what type of movie it is is it a comedy is it is it going to be a drama so what do i mean by that let's be more specific somebody whose movie is a comedy is somebody who takes life for a joke 
everything is funny. Nothing is serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to have some funny parts in your movie, but your life can't be a joke. You got to take it serious at some time. Is your movie full with drama? Are you always complaining? You always trying to, you always find yourself in these weird situations. You know what I'm saying? Just drama filled. That's the type of movie do you have? Do you want to be a hero? You know what I'm saying? Do you want, do you want that to be your movie? Or do you want a success story? That's the type of movie that I'm trying to uh, make. Like, give me a 111 in the chat if you're on Zoom with me right now and you want your movie to be a success story. Well, when you start painting your life, when you start painting this Picasso of your life, forget the past. We start right now. Right now. Right now. Start looking at your life like a movie and start picking your cast wisely. Like, make sure you understand who's playing the lead role. It should be you. Who's your supporting actor? Make sure that that supporting actor got your back. Like, make sure that it's somebody who's a real friend and not a close hater. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, sometimes you got people around you and you think that they're your real friend, but really they're just a close hater. They really ain't got no support for you. They just got surveillance. They just watching you. And anytime you got some positive say, anytime you try to make a move, anytime you try to go in a positive direction, they constantly trying to pull you back where, where they at because there some people are threatened by your success. Like it just I'm just keeping it real with y'all this morning. Some people are threatened by your success, especially when they're not in this type of business, especially when they're working a regular job and you constantly keep putting it out there that, hey, man, this Forex account, man, in the next three months, I'm going to be making $10,000, $20,000 a month, or I'm going to build my residual and I'm going to be making this much a month. Well, since they're not trying to do that and they're only making $2,500 a month at their job, they don't want to see you making $10,000 a month. They might think you're about to get some new friends. You know what I'm saying? They might be scared you're going to get that nice car that they wanted. They might be scared you, your swag might go up 10000 So when you go out, now everybody looking at you instead of them. So they want to keep you on their level. You have to pay attention to these things. Your circle is very, very important. Like I started this call off saying, people's opinion about you is none of your business. But at the same time, you do need to watch out for the haters. Like people will really bring you down. I've seen it happen in my own life and I've seen it happen to too many people. Like, like they that could be doing everything right, but they got somebody in their life that's weighing out three, four, five hours out their day, and this is precious time you could be using to be successful, but this person is in your way. I know for a fact right now, if I would have kept the same friends that I had from 12 to 32, if I was still friends with those guys now, if I was still hanging out with them, still doing the same things that we were doing, still listening to them, still having a part of their mindset be a part of my mindset, that I would probably still be in the same position or if not worse, or at least to my uh, standards, a total failure. I know I would have been, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if... I'm sitting out hanging out with these guys all day and we chasing women and we clubbing and we playing the video games and we doing everything except trying to be successful. And I'm hanging out with these guys. Then how do I meet you guys? Like, how do I meet you guys? How do I even have enough time to build the network marketing? When I go through my failures, when I, cause think about it, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you do in life, there's always going to be peaks and valleys, right? And when you're going through those peaks, the naysayers that tell you, like I've had my own mama tell me, when we first started Gobi Trade House and I told her how much success we was having, you know what my mom told me? She said, I feel you and I'm glad you're having success, but I still think you need to get you a job just in case. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you should be trusting it. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason she don't trust it because, I, and I don't mean no disrespect, but because it ain't corporate, it ain't, it ain't the government ain't providing it, or if it ain't some professional businessman that she don't know that's providing me with the job, but because me and my friends we're doing it, then all of a sudden now it ain't stable. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you the, if I went by her opinion, I love my mama to death. Don't get me wrong, but I can't go by her opinion because she doesn't have the same information I have. And no matter how much I try to tell her, she's not going to be as receptive to it because she's not used to this type of stuff. She's used to the nine to five life and nothing is wrong with that. 
So that's an example of you going through the peak and somebody still trying to tell you like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You still need to protect yourself, right? Even though you haven't good. But what about when you go through the valleys, right? I've been through valleys over my uh, seven, eight year marketing career. And when I went through those lows, here's the difference. See, if I was hanging out with those friends, they would have rubbed it in. They would have said, oh, man, see, I told you, man, it wasn't going to work. Man, when that last company shut down, I'm like, I told you, brother, you know what I'm saying? I told you. But here's the difference. Instead of listening to those negative friends, I actually erased them out of my life. I don't even, they don't even exist to me no more. I got love for them brothers. I wish them the, the best, but that's old school. The new, because see, this is the sequel. Remember what I was talking about, about a movie, right? Well, that was the old movie. That movie is over with. It's done. This is the sequel, baby. This is the sequel. And in the sequel, we got a new cast of actors. And in, in, this, in this sequel, you know who I go to for advice instead of those friends? I listen to Eric Thomas. I listen to Les Brown and so forth, right? I got new friends, Kenny and Carlos and so forth. And all you guys here at, Co at Gobi, people that has the same goals and the same ambitions as me. Now I can fly. But as long as you got people holding you down, you ain't going to never make it. So go be great. I just wanted to share this message this morning. Uh, it was on my mind. I was just thinking about, you know, some of my old friendships and stuff and how I've been able to evolve by simply just extracting those people out of my life. Like that stuff was a blessing. Like, and at the time, you know, I was like, man, this is wrong. But at the same time, I knew what I had to do because I knew, like, like uh, I think Miss Cleta said this the other morning. Like, you don't see, well, I don't think she said this exactly, so I might mess up the quote, but I just said it like this. You don't see eagles flying with mockingbirds. Like, you just don't. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm an eagle. I'm not hanging out with the mockingbirds no more. I'm trying to find other eagles so we can fly. So, go be great. Uh, thank you for taking the time. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. You're watching this on Facebook. Like it. Subscribe. And uh, if you're watching this on Zoom, uh, give me some 777s in the chat, y'all. Go be great. Thank you.